horrible to see him go through and horrible to deal with. Now to a 12 News exclusive. A Valley family bought a dog online only to have to put their precious pup down. And tonight they're sharing their sad story to keep it from happening to anyone else. Team 12's Nayella Charles joins us with the horrible case of buyer beware. Uh, what? You happy? Yeah. It's a moment that now seems too good to be true. Just a day before, couple Meng Chan and Charlotte Butorovich found their dream dog on an online ad site. The dog was beautiful and <laughs> like he had so much life in him, has such a good personality. They met up with the person who posted the ad at McDonald's. The first red flag. The second, the back and forth texts. You need to buy this dog now or I'm gonna give it to someone else. Even though things seemed off, they paid $250 and took the Healer Lab puppy home. Within hours of bringing Mochi home. There were ticks crawling out of his fur. So I found out that he had parvo. They rushed Mochi to the vet and took out a $3,000 loan to save him. But days later, things got worse. He was having seizures and he wasn't eating and, and he was bleeding. When they took him back to the vet, they asked for even more money, $25,000. And I was crying, I was angry, and I just, I couldn't think straight. The couple couldn't afford that. So they made the difficult decision to put Mochi down. Horrible to see him go through and horrible to deal with. If you're thinking about getting a dog, Maricopa County Animal Care and Control recommends avoiding similar situations. If you got to do your homework, I would always recommend that people go to their local shelter first. We're full. Charlotte and Mang say they reported the incident with Mochi to police, who referred them to the Humane Society. They called, but say they still haven't heard anything back. They just want the breeder to be held responsible. These people should be accountable for what they did. The Humane Society says if you do plan on buying a dog, make sure it's from a responsible breeder. One way of finding that out is going to check out the dog's living conditions. We have more tips on the 12 News app. In Phoenix, Nyla Charles, 12 News at 10.